In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make the old checkbox into a cool slider toggle. As always, the process is quite straightforward. Let's begin by first creating the traditional checkbox. For this tutorial, we'll wrap our elements in a div, but you can use the form tag as well. So here we have our checkbox. We may not have noticed, but to activate the checkbox, we can click either on the box or on the label. This ability to click on the label is crucial to our tutorial's functionality. If we take away the label wording, we can only click the box. But take note that the label is still present, only the text has been removed. So let's create a new label class called my label. Give it the position of relative, display block, width 60 pixels, height 30 pixels, and margin bottom 15 pixels. Add this class to your label tag. Notice nothing visible happens because there is no text for the moment. Now let's create our sliding groove element which will act as our dynamic checkbox or toggle switch. Set the position to absolute, top, right, bottom and left to zero. And we'll give it a gray background and a border radius of 20 pixels. Let's add this to our checkbox element and give our containing div or form, if you like, the class of my label as well. And there you have our toggle holder groove. We also need to add a slider button for our UI UX effect. So let's create a pseudo class of sliding groove colon after. Give it a position of absolute, content empty, width and height 28 pixels, white background, border radius 50% so it's a circle, and one pixel from the top and left of the toggle holder. Okay, looking good so far. But right now, it's just a div. There's no functionality. We'll link that in the next step. Before we do, however, we need to remove the checkbox element, just like we removed the label text. If we make the background of our toggle switch element transparent, you can see the checkbox behind our slider groove. We don't want to see the checkbox element. We just want its functionality. So we set the display of the checkbox to none. Remember, the checkbox element is still present in the HTML and therefore still functional. Let's set our sliding groove div element back to the way it was. To link the checkbox to our sliding groove div, we use a simple CSS property. Input colon checked plus sliding groove. All this means is that when the checkbox is clicked, do something to the element that comes immediately after the input element, in this case a sliding groove div, which will change color from gray to green when the label is clicked. We'd like to have a bit of an effect, presumably a fade in and fade out effect, which we can achieve using CSS transition property. We also want the round white button to move over, so we again add input colon checked plus dot sliding groove after and give it the transform translate x property value pairing when the label is clicked. In this case, we'd like the round button to move over left and right by 30 pixels. The groove changes color and the button moves left to right as required. To smoothen out the effect, we can simply add a transition with a timing of 0.3 seconds to both classes. Finally, to add the label text, let's type coding in paragraph tags within the label. 
Notice the text goes exactly over where the label is, which is our clickable area. To move it, we simply give the paragraph tag a class and adjust the position, styling and size accordingly. In this case, we'll move the paragraph tag over left by 65 pixels, increase the font size to 16 pixels, make the color slightly lighter than total black and give it a nicer font. You can click either on the div or on the label text. The label is slightly higher than where I'd want it to be. So let's make a few more alterations. That's looking good. Let's add a few more checkbox options by copying pasting the code and updating each as value. Let's call the second one design and the third option gameplay. It's easy to make your checkboxes feel dynamic. The code snippet for this tutorial is in the comments. If you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for watching and see you next time.